Bruce and I'm out on the running deer trail with my kids and I've been asked to review the MSR strike igniter and I've got it here in the package but to be honest with you I've already taken out and played with it a little bit. Uh, the strike igniter, let me get in there. So it says that it's a lightweight waterproof lighter for any stove and the uh, upsides that it says is, is that it's moisture and pressure resistant that will last for 3,000 to 12,000 strikes. That's a big range there. And that it will work with any stove, including the MSR reactor stove system, which I don't have. But I've been asked in doing this review to show uh, how this would work with a few other stoves. So I've got down here uh, a couple things. Well, first let me just say... Uh, Interesting thing about this is the uh, the striker and the flint flint. This is just a flint steel setup. is attached by a string, so you can't get them separated. And there's a magnet in here, which holds that together. So that'll be nice and neat in your pack. So you've got that little added on. There's also a bottle opener on the striker, so that when you're out doing your ultralight backpacking and you need to open up your bottle of beer. Uh, okay, maybe your day pack. Okay, let's try that again. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate. I simply made one careless wrong decision. And in that which was gone, and left me in this state, an object of revulsion and derision. So they didn't exactly make this the easiest bottle opener. But eventually it worked. So I've got right here my alcohol stove, and I'm just going to strike that in. Yep, that's lit. I know you can't see it, but that's already going. I had two strikes on that, and I may have gotten it on the first one. So that's going to a boil. This is my uh, MSR pocket rocket, and I'm just going to open that up. You hear that hissing? And there you go. Three strikes on that, and I'll be honest with you, I, I was pointed the wrong direction on the first two. So, um, you know, if you're getting uh, 3,000 to 12,000 strikes out of that, it doesn't take a whole lot to... Uh, light either one of these stoves. I got a nice boil going on with my alcohol stove. I'm sorry you can't see that. Probably can't see the flames on either one of these. But we've got a stove uh, going with both of them. Alright, so uh, I'm going to use the uh, strike to get a fire going. For those of you who have seen some of my other videos, you know I make my own ha homemade fire starter. My wife uses those Scentsy um, scent wax tablets that you melt in a heated thing and when she wants to when the scent's all used up you stick a cotton ball in there and soak it all up and it becomes great fire starter if you use this in bear country then you need to keep it stored with your food bag and hung up in a tree at night rather than keeping it in your backpack because I'm sure the lovely scent of I don't even know what that is it smells like bath soap to me but whatever it was supposed to be will attract bears. So uh, anyway, I've got some in here with a little bit of kindling. Let's see how we do. Okay, cotton ball's going. Once that wax takes off, it'll burn really nice. The main thing is get the wax burning. All right, so I've got a We got it started. All right, and there we've got a nice little fire going just off of uh, one fire starter and a couple strikes with the MSR strike. So you can see I was uh, able to get a fire going fairly easily. So the big con to the MSR strike is that it takes two hands to operate, whereas my little Bic lighter weighs less and I can get that going with just one hand. Um, 
but there's a con to the Bic. If my little Bic lighter gets wet, it's going to take a long time for me to get this started again. It is just not going to fire for anything. If I take the MSR strike and I get it wet, it may fire off immediately. There, there's a strike. And if uh, I can't get it to strike right away, I can just wipe it off with my bandana or my t-shirt or whatever. And uh, strike, strike. Yeah, it's just it's flaring. I don't know if the camera's picking up the flares. But um, yeah, so this is much more reliable in wet, rainy conditions than my lighter would be. There are some flint steel units that are out there that require only one hand. I've reviewed those. You can find them on trailspace.com and on my YouTube page. Uh, look under Cave Goose for that. But uh, all in all, this is not a bad item. Relatively inexpensive, light, easy to throw into your emergency kit or into your backpack. And uh, if you're out on your day pack, of course, you got your little beer bottle opener. So thanks for watching.